currently mixing from a home studio, which isn't optimal. It's preferable for me because it's a comfortable place to work. Well, when I first got here, it sounded terrible. I suppose I was having some pretty severe low-end translation issues. Before I measured it, I, I hadn't realized that there was a huge sort of like 40 hertz dip, which sounded, depending on the key of the song, um, I could get away with mixes, I think. They were, just, they were translating okay because I was constantly referencing. I tried some software room correction, which was very helpful. But uh, the more I heard about Trinov, the more I was kind of inclined to give that a go. It, sound, it sounded more correct, but it didn't sound pleasant, I guess. It sounded like it was hard to listen to, although it sounded more sort of, it sounded flatter and more natural. It was kind of sounded ugly at the same time, which is what led me to the trend off. And I, and I also I had really realistic, I think, expectations of hearing the trend off. I, I wasn't expecting as big a difference from the software that I was using. Really easy process, yeah, it was great. And I was able to be quite specific with it because it was so quick, you know, I could position my speakers more accurately. I got my listening position in a better place because you can kind of sort of interact with the with the results you're getting, really, because it's just like free blasts of noise. It's really quick to calibrate. I, I did have those fears that it would be complicated, but it's, you know, if I can figure it out. I'm going to say the first time I bypassed it was more interesting, actually, because I suddenly realized then. I mean, it sound, everything sounded more in focus and everything, you know, the things you hear about what room correction can do for you. But the first time I bypassed it, I think, um, well, I just thought something was broken, actually. I thought I went and checked my cable in because I thought, oh, surely I've just patched it into the Trinov room or something. You know, something was, something was iffy. Because it was that phenomenal, I think, the difference. It's like a force field of nonsense, basically, you know, and just... Everything was quite out of focus. I had no idea about like sort of what phase correction could do. So I, I just had no sort of even any concept of the difference phase correction could make. So it never even crossed my mind that like maybe there's something out of phase. Like it's one of those things that you have to hear it to even know how to explain what it sounds like. And I probably still can't tell you. Room EQ can make the bass sound more powerful, but when it's also in phase, it's like such a tougher, more direct, centered sound, you know. The difference between EQ'd bass, you know, room corrected bass and room corrected and phase corrected bass is a massive thing. It gives me confidence in starting the mix, you know, which is a massive psychological like boost, right? Because I can just be more extreme with the tops and the bottoms and know that they're gonna like sort of translate the way I want them to. I think like even the way I do mix bus compression, I think I was always one of those uh, sort of dual mono mix bus compressors so that the image stayed wide. But I feel like I'm finding myself trying to almost weirdly narrow things and, and like in some cases where I wasn't before. So even my mix bus compression is stereo linked whereas before it was always unlinked. So I preferred the sound of it being like kind of splattered uh, like sort of whip ways. But now I'm just always trying to keep that the center as strong as I know it can be. And then subsequently the mixes sound wider when I take them elsewhere. There's more contrast between what's in the middle and what's not. Well, I think most people kind of, I mean, most people I spoke to already know about it, but when they ask me, basically the question is, is it better than software room correction? And uh, it's just a different universe, you know. The software helps, but it doesn't necessarily sound good. The trend off doesn't really, uh, at least I can't tell that it's doing that kind of degrading the signal in any way. You know, all I can hear is benefits, you know.